Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Salar, and this is part nine from my tutorial tutorial about writing a real-time operating system. And we'll still uh, focus on some tools for our programming and our projects, and uh, some tools that we need. Uh, in the first part, uh, we focused on Linux and terminal commands. After uh, we get we got familiar with GCC and GCC programming, and in last part, I complete brief introduction about GCC programming and programming for C. And in this part, I want to start uh, to talk about another tools for programming. Mm. Let's talk about GCC. Mm. For example, uh, let's assume in home folder I create a test directory, and in my test directory I have a main file. It's my main.c file, and in my main file uh, I have a simple program. Uh, include the CDIO, include an header, and I should add this header with dash capital I in my GCC command. After that, uh, in my header file, I have two functions a function for multiply and a function for divide. And it's a simple program. And uh, in my project, I have some subdirectories. Uh, for example, a uh, header directory that it includes header file, uh, definition of my functions, just definition of my function, not declaration for multiply and divide. And in the library, I have a library, lib my math. Uh, this is a standard of naming. Uh, we got familiar with this standard of naming lib and name of your di directory and <coughs> name, sorry, name of your archive file, archive or of your object file and that A for archive file. It's a static library. And in the source file, <coughs> Sorry, I have uh, two functions, definition of my functions. For example, here, my multiply function and my divide function. Okay, so let's compile this project in terminal. Uh, CD to test, unless I have some subdirectories and uh, some libraries and some header files for compiling, I should write name name of my c file after that i can write name of my uh, path for header files after that the path of your libraries the uh, library let's do for the full screen that after that add your static library the standard is dash l and name of your library without, without lib and dot a my math after that dash o and name of your output file okay here and let's run that okay and i have an output file here if i run my output file 6 multiply by 2 equal 12 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, uh, as you can see, uh, if I want to recompile my uh, main.c file, uh, I have a long, I have a long uh, command, and uh, we will have longer command in microcontrollers, okay? Uh, for example, let's to see a command to you in IDE. STM32. Let's open that. Okay, here is a simple project for a microcontroller. And uh, if I want to build my project, let's do clean uh, already builds and another time I build my project. And my project, for example, is Saga. And if I right click and on that and build project. Let's full screen that and as you can see, I have a so long, 
so long. And command. Okay? And IDE run it easily and you don't need to uh, type all of this command. Let's do see this command for example in subline and then the text editor. As you can see, I have it. Uh, so long command. It's the mm, compiler from GCC for uh, ARM processor and microcontrollers. Uh, it's name of file. It's name of file. And after that, I have a lot of options and a lot of including subdirectories, for example, for your include files. And I should run a lot of time and sometime uh, uh, this this commands for building my project and as you can see if you have an easy project like this or you have a big project uh, you should type a lot of command for compiling your project okay and it's a time consuming and tedious work so how can I make my work easy and make my compiling a process is easier than here and uh, i should uh, say we have a very good tools for that very good tools for that for this work and uh, with this tool i can make my work so easy and what's the tools the tools is uh, GNU or GNU make uh, you may have heard the name of make what's the make make is a tools from GNU uh, that makes your works and makes your compiling process so easy uh, let's do see internal what's make uh, if you have make uh, in your Linux operating system by typing make double dash and version you will see the name and the version of your make and if you don't have the make make tool uh, you should install that with for example sudo apt install and make okay and as you can see I have that zero upgraded, zero new installed, and zero to remove or update your file. So I have make. So how can I, how can I use make uh, for making easy my work and making easy compiling? Okay, let's do back to my home directory and here make a directory for example project. Okay, name and cd to project and let's do create a simple main.c file nano for example main.c and uh, in that uh, write a simple program include cdio.h and simple hello world slash n new line okay let's to save it and compile it uh, we now uh, it's a so easy program and without any uh, problem I can compile it with GCC GCC and name of my file and the name of my output but I can compile my project and automate automate my compiling uh, with make with make tools okay tool make is a tool for automate automating automating uh, your compile process and your uh, compiling okay 
uh, and how can I use make? Uh, I should give a text file to make that this text file give information about my compiling process. Okay, so yeah, I should create a text file and in that text file uh, give uh, the process and the steps of uh, steps of your compiling and let's to create a text file for example text okay and open that okay in this text file I should give uh, information about compiling with a, a specific language that's for make file and how can I uh, say to make to uh, compile my project and how can I ask make to compile my project first uh, you should uh, this is, it's a simple make file like a hello world okay you should say you should write your output name okay your output name after that uh, uh, column okay and after uh, this column uh, you should write name of your file that you want to um, compile. Here is main.c. Okay. And go to new line. First of your line, you should put a tab. Okay. Tab character. You can't, for example, write some space. It's so important to uh, enter a tab. Okay. Enter a tab. After tab, uh, write the compiling process with GCC. What's that? GCC main that C. After that dash O and name of output file. Okay, what's the name of output file? Output. Okay. Uh, output. Okay. I can. Uh, save my file and uh, let's do uh, compile my project so how can I compile my project and automate my project with make it's so easy make dash f is option and name of your make file this make file is text okay if I press enter now make run uh, the GCC and uh, my code is compiled. Okay, my code uh, has been compiled now. Here is output. Okay, and I uh, uh, run my output. Okay, hello world. Okay, let's do make or work much easier. How can I? Uh, how can I shorten this comment? Okay. If I rename my text file to make file, okay, it's a special name for make, make file, okay, I can write make file, another name is make file with capital M, another name is GNU with capital, uh, uh, capital alphabets and make file, okay, the three names the three names are special names for make okay make file with uh, uh, this m make file with capital m and genomic okay i rename my file to make file okay yeah else i have main.c make file if i no no make yes sorry no, no, make file. It's my make file. Okay. And my output file. Let's do remove output file. And I have main C and make file. Here, I can just write make. I don't need to write make dash f and make file. Okay. If your name is make file, make file with capital M and geno make file, you can just write make. Run that. And now I have my output file. Okay. Uh, less my output file here and 
here is lower with genomake you can write uh, your command for compiling just once and run it a lot of times and another and other times just with make okay just do it make okay okay let's to talk uh, more about the structure of make file here as you saw uh, I should write this command uh, for compiling my project main.c a tab character and after that gcc main.c and after that dash o and output okay so uh, it's a rule okay it's a rule it's a rule in make file and what's the structure of rule in make file in, in a rule in make file you have a target file target is a file okay here is output after that some file uh, that called prerequisites okay you can have just one file and you can have more files for example you want to compile more files okay after that a tab character here it's so important that you should enter a tab character after that a recipe recipe uh, is some commands that you can want to run in terminal and recipe is your commands and options for example here gcc main.c o output for uh, compiling your project let's do another time run make file if i another time uh, as you can see i have my output file if another time hmm, uh, run make file with make uh, it returns me output is up to date it says your file and your output file is up to date and you don't need to uh, recompile your project okay so when make compile your project okay when make compile your project or as you can as uh, I said it's a rule okay here it's a rule uh, it's a sorry it's a structure of rule okay so when make run rule okay when make run a rule runs rule okay uh, first what's the first first uh, if target file does not exist exist okay first if target file does not exist uh, and as you can see uh, I have my output file I have my target okay my target is output okay uh, and if I um, delete that rim of that output and I don't have my target output and if another time I run make I can run my compile okay uh, I have my output file and if another time run make makes it your output file is up to date i have my output and the make uh, does not run the rule okay the rule for compiling and and unless this situation when make run 
uh, your compile process. And after that, if uh, target file uh, was older than one of one of the requisites okay the requisites sorry okay so in two situation and in two condition here one if target file does not exist for example you don't compile your project or target file here output file was older than one of prerequisites you can have uh, more than one file here for example main.c main one.c main two dot is and other files if output uh, is older than one of these files okay one of these files uh, make run your project another time and uh, make run your compile let's just see that uh, for example if i uh, run make uh, make returns that output is up to date okay and i have my output file and we are not in this one condition okay but let's to change my main.c no no main that's the and for example lower and other dots and other dots right here, here and save my file okay now uh, my output file is older than main c okay and my main dot c is updated and has been updated and now main is newer than uh, tar my target and my output file and if another time i run make now make run your project okay and run your compile uh, i run my output file here here lower with some dots so in two conditions make run rules okay rule or rules one if target file does not exist or and you have your target file but if target file was older than one of your prerequisites okay and uh, let's do make project and compile process harder uh, now how can i ask make to first create an object file from main.c after that create an executable file okay so first uh, compile my project and just create an object file and its main for example main.o and after that create an output okay let's do uh, open make file in my editor and uh, edit my make file uh, let's do delete make file and I want first create an object file from my uh, main.c and after that I want to uh, create an executable file from my object file uh, I should write for example output I want to create my output from main.o okay what's the compile command gcc uh, sorry main.o o2 output okay but how can i uh, ask make to create main.o okay another time i should uh, write another rule okay i can have more than one rule uh, in my make file another rule is creating main.o from main.c tab character after that gcc and dash c create object file from main and that c and write it to main.o 
Okay, let's just save that and run my uh, make file. Let's do remove output. Plus, I have my main C, main that C, and my make file and run make. Okay, as you can see, first make run. Uh, second rules, okay. First, second rules, uh, as you can see. No, no, make file. Second rule is creating a object file, an object file, okay. First, uh, run. Second rules, second rule, and after that, run first rule and create my output file. And if I run my output, I have my hello world and I have uh, my object file and my output file and make run that for me and uh, runs that for me okay let's do nano make file as you can see uh, I write it uh, I, I wrote uh, my rules top to down but make runs uh, and those rules from down to top okay first run that and after that run that hope so how, how make uh, runs your project okay let's to talk about that in uh, more detail uh, and my digital pen software and let's to write my make file another time here with that and here is my make file output okay here is my make file uh, and you saw that you uh, write first uh, rules output from main.o and after that main.o from main.c but make uh, first run uh, second rules okay first run this tools okay but, but let's do sorry talk more about structure of uh, make file it's my first rule okay first rule in make file uh, called default goal or default target okay uh, first rule first target uh, in your make file is default goal okay uh, but make created dependency a chart from your make file as you can see this rule needs main.o and you should uh, create main.o with this command okay first with this command you should create main.o and after that with first uh, rule uh, you should run this and here you need main.o and before that you should uh, run second rule so uh, and uh, we can see first rule is dependent and to second rule and first rule depends to second rule uh, make file created dependency chart from my make file so what's the dependency chart uh, dependency a chart is a graph is a tree okay tree graph and the uh, root of this tree is your default goal okay here is output okay and output depends to main.o depends to uh, main.o and main.o itself depends to main.c okay your target depends to your prerequisites okay output depends to main.o and main.o depends to uh, main dot c okay for example if i uh, if i had here for example main 2.c i should write you should wrote main 2.c here 
that's it. But I don't have another C file for my project. So I don't uh, main to that. Okay. Uh, here is a simple dependency chart. Okay, dependency chart. So how make uh, run your runs your uh, compile your compile process make independency chart first start from your leaf okay and what's leaf in my graph and in my chart lowest nodes lowest nodes in your uh, chart uh, that uh, doesn't have any child for example output uh, has a child and its main data and main data is a has a child and its main.c but main.c uh, doesn't have any child and any children okay so uh, main.c is a leaf in my graph and make start with leaf and see its target see it's my leaf main.c uh, lowest node in my graph and in my chart and uh, main.o depends to main.c here first I want to create main.o from my from main.c. See these two conditions. If target file does not, does not exit, for example, if main.o is a target file uh, does not exit, or uh, if target file was older than one of your prerequisites, and if uh, main.o is older than main.c, run this rule okay this rule is my second rule first and after that go to uh, and went to upper rules okay here i have other rules and if output is older than uh, main.o or if i don't have output run first uh, mm, run uh, first uh, rule so as you can see uh, if I remove main that's o and output file and another time run my make file first second rule main main.o from main.c after that create output from main.o let's do make my code uh, a bit harder and add a header file to my project um, remove main.o and output and none of for example a header.h okay here uh, you should for example write sharp include cdio that edge and in that create a void function for example simple print and in this function I print a string printf and hello from my header okay after that backslash n okay let's just save that mm. Save that and change my main file. My main C file uh, here. Include header dot edge and in that run print. Run print from header dot edge. Now let's do write in encoded mode because I don't want add any option to my uh, compiled process now let's just save that and list my files i have 
uh, main.c file, I have a header file, and I have a make file. But I like uh, last run make, I want to first create main.o file, and after that, create a output file uh, from my code. Okay, so uh, here, what's my dependency chart? Here, what's my dependency chart? Let's do change make file. No make file. I want to create out from main.o and I want to create main.o from main.c and header.h. Okay. My object file depends to main.c and header.h. But I don't need to add my header to my command because header is in my current directory and I don't need to add this in my compiling steps and on my compiling uh, commands. Let's just save that. Uh, another time I have a header. That H, but uh, my dependency chart here is output default go first go. Uh, it depends to main dot o. After that, main dot o depends to two prerequisites: main dot c or uh, header dot H. Okay, it's my dependency chart. Uh, first, check this part and, and sorry, and first check here if main.o does not exist, exist or is older than one of these two files, okay, main.c or header.h. It run this node main.o and create main.o and after that run output uh, let's do run my make file in an easy way just make and run that so first create main dot or from main dot c and after that uh, um, output from main dot o and if i run my project hello from my header so uh, let's to check my header file, for example, nano header from header another time. Hello from my header another time. Save that and another time run make. You will see main.o is older than header.h. So uh, and make first uh, run the second rule, okay? First run this rule because here main.o is older than header.h because I update header.h. After that, because I create main.o another time in my compiling process, uh, I create main.o another time and he. Uh, Another time, main.o is uh, newer than output and uh, make run first rule. Okay, so if I run make, make should run uh, this rule, red rule is the second rule. Okay, and after that, first rule, my default, because header is newer than main.o and I recompile and recreate main.o so now main.o is newer than output and run second so first uh, my second after that run to first should run gcc dash c main.c and after that gcc create o to from your main.o let's run another time make as you can see another time make run uh, make runs all of your uh, rules let's again uh, make my project harder 
Uh, okay, let's do create mm -hmm. uh, another, for example, find for example, nano main 2.c. Okay, here sharp include std. I don't uh, need to write uh, for that, for example, main, and here, it's my main 2.c file. It's a useless file uh, is a useless file and I save that control X save that I have some uh, another another file made to that and let's do uh, make file and add a rule for that for example create a main dot o from main dot c no, with gcc dash c main uh, to dot c and write it in main dot o. Okay, I have a rule for my file, but my file is a useless file. But I want to talk about uh, facilities of make file. Okay, save that. Let's do remove. Uh, main dot o and output. I have no main file, no output and main dot o. So here I don't have main dot o and output. And let's do run my project. Make. Uh, sorry, sorry. I have two. Uh, target with main dot o main 2.0 oh, and here main 2.0 okay uh, you should have a special name for each of your targets okay and save that and let's do another time remove uh, main that's o oh, and o to file okay less and another time run make as you can see, make just run these two uh, rules like before, like last run uh, before adding main 2.c in my project. Why? Why? Uh, make file doesn't run this rule, doesn't run this rule because uh let's open that here uh, i have another rules for example siri uh, number three main two dots o from main two dots c and my recipe okay and my recipe and tab here but uh, this target main 2.0 is not in dependency chart here. Okay, here output depends to main.0 default column it depends to main.0 and main.0 just depends to uh, main.c and header. And if I write and if I draw my dependency chart here uh, from my default goal output. Uh, I don't put, I can't put main .o in this chart because output just depends to main .o and main .o depends to main .c and header and because uh, this rule is not in dependency chart make will not run will not run this rule okay uh, here was about dependency chart and let's to talk about uh cleaning is some things and some file from my project by make okay removing some file let's do uh remove this useless rule save that and here remove main to dot c and main to uh, and sorry main to dot c from my file and 
I have my main.c, main.o, and uh, my make file and my header file. So uh, if I want to remove main.o, I can write main.o. Uh, but assume that I have a lot of object files that I want to remove. For example, main one dot uh, main one dot o, main two dot o, main three dot o, and another and other object files. I can remove all of my object files with this command s star dot o this command uh, says that uh, I want to remove all of file that uh, start with any character a star means any character uh, one character two character any character uh, but uh, uh, last of my file name is dot o okay here uh, clear and remove all of your dot o files for example main dot o solver dot o john dot o david dot o uh, all of your object file that its extension is dot o if i run that unless i don't have my main dot o and let's do remove all those okay i have my main let's see if i make file and header file let's do change my make file let's do add a uh, add another rule to my make file it's uh, clean for cleaning uh, for example object files and your output file okay i don't need uh, any prerequisites in this rule okay i want to run rm star point o and my output file make can run all of your terminal uh, commands not it's not just for gcc commands make can run all of your terminal commands here i want to run rm uh, remove that's all file and output file from my uh, make file um, in the current directory. Let's just save that and another time run make. But as you can see, uh, make clean is not in my dependency chart. Okay, clean is not in my dependency chart. So make does not run that. Here you can see make run all of uh, other rules. But how can I run uh, clean? I have my output file, hello from header another time. I have my main.o and output another time. But sorry. I have my output and main.o. But if I want to run special target and special target, I should write make and name of my targets. Make clean. If I run make clean, uh, make create a dependency chart from clean. Okay, create a dependency chart from clean. Uh, if I run that, I have clean rm start out for clearing object files and all my output file. Okay, make create. Uh, dependency chart from clean but if I create dependency chart I have clean and I don't have uh, no other uh, prerequisites as you can see make don't depends to uh, any prerequisites so uh, clean is not a file and clip is not older than one of prerequisites. So how can how can I run clean? Okay, how can I run clean? I don't have clean, as I said. Your target should be a file, and your file does not exist, or your file older than your prerequisites. But clean is not a file, and clean it's not a uh, clean has no prerequisites okay has no prerequisites we say and we call these targets phony targets okay phony targets 
Uh, let's do phony targets. What's a funny target? A target that is not a real file or it's not a file. So how can I uh, say to make that uh, a target is a funny target? Let's do file with this command with this command I can say to make that my target is a phony target dot phony with dot phony with uh, capital alphabet column and name of your target okay that phony is a special target because I should write after that a column. The special target known as phony dot phony nozzle as special target that prerequisites of dot phony is phony target. Okay, here clean is prerequisite of this dot phony, so clean is a uh, special target and it's a phony target, a target that it's not a real file. Let's just save that and run make clean. So make runs make has run has run has run my recipe. If I write unless I don't have main dot oh and hold it another time make and I have my output and make file and make my phony target. Okay. Uh, and let's do open my mic. If I want to comment a line, I should write a sharp sign start of my line. Sharp or hash sign here my line is green and is a comma I can don't write this line phony dot clean okay I can don't write uh, that in my file and another time let's do uh, create my make and another time make clean and make runs my file runs my rule okay runs my rule and runs my command but if you have a file that its name is clean if you have a file that its name is clean it's a file name is clean as my target okay and run my make and I want to remove my object file and output file with make clean it says clean is up to date why why clean is up to date because because clean is exist the condition is not one and it's not older one of the it's prerequisite because it clean doesn't have any prerequisites so we we are not in condition one or two so uh, make does not run your clean okay you can uh, ignore uh, you can ignore this line phony clean in your make file but if you have a file that its name is clean uh, make does not run and will not run your rule clean another time and anymore and if I uh, another time no no 
make file and uncomment this line. My line another time is clean. Uh, my uh, uh, target another time is phony. And if I run make clean, I can run my command. Okay, so make sure that write this line for your phony targets i can have more than one phony tour targets for example clean clean one or sorry clear that was not it's not important name of your uh, target is not important you can have clean clean one uh, for example assume that you have a uh, clean one and it's uh, and it's a command is remove just object file not output file okay i have two funny target clean and clean one two funny targets and let's just save that and another time run my make file i have my output and my object file and if i uh, run for example make clean one i can just remove my object files okay you can have uh, more than one uh, funny targets but it's so important to uh, set a clean uh, set a funny target for example clean as a funny target with that phony and name of your target because if you have a file that's a uh, name of file that's equal uh, to your target uh, make doesn't and will not run uh, your target anymore okay so it's important and make sure to sorry no, no, make fine. set your funny targets like this line okay so in this part uh, i started to talk about uh, what's make and auto to make auto tools and what's gnome make and what's the rule what's the structure of gnome make and what's default goal and dependency chart and how can i uh, create a phony target and what's a phony target phony target is a target that's not a real file and i want to run some commands with funny targets and i don't want to create a file when i want to remove some, some files i don't want to create a file for example output okay so these targets uh, are funny targets and i will keep uh, i will keep talking about make uh, in next part uh, thank you so much and see you soon.